Hi, and you're watching an SEO Content Machine Next tutorial video. And today I'm going to explain how you can use Google search operators with your keywords. So inside the Mass Article Creator, on the right hand side where it says Advanced Keywords, there's a little bit of text that shows you how you can use in title, semicolon, keyword, or you can use in URL, semicolon, keyword. So how this works is, say you have a keyword, like dog training, and you only want to download results that come from a specific website. And for today, let's say we only want it from wikipedia.com. If I were to copy the in URL part, put it in front. Now we have in URL, then our site or the URL we want to have for each piece of content, followed by a space and then dog training. Now, if we are using multiple keywords, we can do the same thing. Now the important part here is that each keyword that you're using a search operator for, it needs to be the search operator followed by the keyword. If I want to have a completely different keyword, I can put it under a new line. So this is a non-combined keyword. Now the best way to demonstrate what actually happens when we use search operators is if we go to the URL scraper. So new URL scraper. And here's two I prepared earlier. So if we have our search in URL, semicolon, Wikipedia, Censure T. Let me just remove the filter. You can see that all the results and inside that URL has the word Wikipedia. So the first couple of results are from the Wikipedia official site. If we scroll down, we've got more results such as monkeyviral.com. It has Wikipedia in the URL. So it's kept that as a search result. Now, if I go back to a normal run, this is what it looks like without any search operators. And Wikipedia actually appears on the fifth result. Now, a handy tip is if I just want the domain name to appear, I can actually change this. So it says wikipedia.org and rerun the search, retrieve URLs. And then I'm only going to get results with wikipedia.org. Now you can use this special search operator to download content from only a website you are interested in. A common example might be to download site content from an article directory. So if you use in URL a lot, you'll find that it's going to burn through a lot of captures and also your proxies are going to start getting burned a little bit quicker. So this is something you want to use sparingly when possible and uh, stay away from using it normally.